what's up guys it's your boy Khalil uh, that new intro was made by my friend yellow ender you guys should go check him out I'll leave a link to his channel in the description but um, right now I thought I'd like like show you guys my plant team for Sun and Moon I saw a lot of people on YouTube doing this and I thought I'd pitch in so let's get started um, for now uh, my first Pokemon um, obviously my starter Pokemon will be Poplio for Prime Arena. Uh, I like its Z move and its uh, signature move. Its Z move basically spirit bombs you with water, so so it it's really awesome. And it's a uh, um, its signature move. I can't like I can't quite remember the name right now. Uh, but some people really could have criticized it. Or healing burns but it could be like the moon smelling salt or something like that and uh, and like do double the damage to to someone with a burn now uh, for my second Pokemon oh, oh and besides that water fairy is a really unique type and it, well well there's only two of those right now I think w whatever uh, so for my second Pokemon I was thinking we could, we could go near uh, where are you Guys are always hidden. Um, uh, guys, I think I've lost him. I saw him earlier. I'm just gonna pause the video until I find him. Okay, guys, I found him, and my second Pokemon is going to be Licking Rock Midnight. Now, uh, as soon as I saw this thing, I was I was fanboying. Uh, some people criticized it for looking like an edge lord or something. Uh, I like I happen to like um, Pokemon like that, like Zoroark for example. And uh, I like that that they were really smart with its typing, not to make it a fight. I mean, a rock and dark type, uh, as people would expect. I mean, that would make fighting type do double the damage. But anyway, uh, I really like its design and uh, its description at the Pokemon Sun and Moon website. So yeah, it's definitely going to be on my team. So, for my third Pokemon, I'm just going to pause the video again until I find it. So, see you guys there. Okay guys, I found him and my, what? My third Pokemon is going to be Sil Valley. Now, uh, these are the type of Pokemon that really impress me. Not to mention it's a rather awesome design. Um, the fact that it can, like, it's an Arceus Buster with those stats, 95, 95. And basically Arceus with his um, ability and ability to change type with the um, item he holds. So, uh, not to mention that he changed, he, um, he changes color in certain areas like um, Arceus. So, uh, if you really want uh, want to use a, a legendary Pokemon, but you're not that type of person, like, uh, and you'd want a, le a Pokemon that's at least pseudo legendary or something, I don't I don't know what that means, but yeah, this Pokemon is a very good example. I cannot wait to have this on my team. All right, for my fourth Pokemon, where are you? I saw him, and hold on, guys. All right. For my fourth Pokemon, I am going to have Lorantis. Hold on. This Pokemon. This Pokemon. Not only is it beautiful, it is it's awesome. Uh, hold on, guys. So not only is it beautiful, this thing is awesome. Uh, it's new move. I mean, the new move, Solar Blade, is only given to it. And it, it, it looks amazing. Now, uh, what I could probably see from this Pokemon is good speed, good attack, but not very good defenses. And um, maybe some good HP or something, but I don't know. And they really made it grass type. Um, what, which would, most people would expect to make it bug type. Now, I have a feeling it's going to learn a lot of bug type moves, you know, having that design. But yeah. I really like this Pokemon and I can't wait to use it So for my fourth Pokemon uh, wait for the page to load We are going to be using Mimikyu Okay, uh, now guys uh, 
By now, I think most of you realize that this list is going to be a full Alolan team. Yes. Uh, by the way, I really like this Pokemon. Uh, its description makes me very sad. It only, it only dresses up like Pikachu to have some friends, you know? Uh, hmm. And that unique ghost and fair- oh, hold on. What's this? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay, uh, and its unique ghost and fairy type makes it both a threat and a tank. Uh, I'm sorry, did I say tank? I meant, um, switch in. Um, because its ability really lets it, uh, let loose. Well, not really. If you can get the substitute up for your, po for your opponent, uh, then I think this Pokemon could be sweeping. I see it, I see it sweeping already. Um... Hold on, so not. Uh, sorry guys, where were we? I literally lost track of where we were. Anyway, yeah, um, I think I remember now. Yeah, that Ghost Fairy is a really unique typing, and I can't wait to use it. Anyway, uh, for my last Pokemon, hmm, where are you? Uh, oh wait, oh, I was just gonna pause. Anyway, uh, for my last Pokemon, uh, my last Pokemon, this is a Pokemon which I have been very excited about ever since I learned about its unique move and how, how awesome it could be in double battles with that move and that Pokemon is Oranguru this thing is nothing short of amazing not only does it remind me of Haramre <laughs> I mean look at its design I think that's what I'm gonna nickname it uh, it's Pokedex um, entry shows that it's really intelligent uh, It's even it's even been seen using pokeballs on other Pokemon or people You know uh, guys, this is gonna be my moon team uh, Let me know what you think of it. I Am really excited for this game, and I cannot wait just two more days Just two more days until we have it like today's Wednesday uh, Tomorrow's Thursday boom. We got it so, uh, anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my moon team. Let me know what you think of it in the comments, and I'm going to, and now I'm gonna, um, see about my sun team. Just a second, guys. Alright guys, we're back, and I am about to build my sun team. Okay, uh, starting things off, my starter Pokemon is going to be Rowlet for Decidueye. This thing is amazing. Um, its Z move is amazing. Its its signature move is amazing. Won't let the opponent switch in, and it does damage. Unlike Block or uh, I mean, look, Spirit Shackle. And no one was expecting the Ghost typing. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice typing. And wait a second. Well, yeah, it's a really nice typing, and I can't wait to have it. Uh, for my second Pokemon, I will be using a... Hold on, let me... I gotta find it again, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, we are, guys. Uh, and my second Pokemon is going to be... Wishy Washy. Uh, not only do I need a, wa a water type um, to, co to cover the city Y um, for those fire, fire types, I mean... Fire types. My bad, guys. I have trouble speaking fast. Not only do I need need it to cover um, the city Y, I also have um, it's also really effective against other types, uh, like fire and wait, what? How, how do I resist? How do I resist steel? What the heck? Uh, okay. Let's leave it at that. Uh, and I really like like its um, ability schooling it can it, it can become really powerful after it uses that ability Anyway guys, let's move on to the third Pokemon um, Where are you? And here we are Serena Now uh, guys, I know you're asking me How do you plan on getting this these Pokemon? You don't know how early we get them or anything about them uh, I don't care what happens I'm going to get these Pokemon no matter what it takes. This Pokemon is really majestic. Um, 
and it's really it, its design is really cool I mean just look at that crown on top of its head and I cannot imagine a better grass type for um, 7th gen um, okay now for number for number four we are going to be using hold on just a second we're bomby this thing is the bomb I love how cutie fly um, just evolves and gets like a little scarf or something uh, and I like the unique bug and fairy type I don't think we've seen one of those and if we have um, feel free to correct me in the comments alright uh, for my last two Pokemon I'm going to be using for my uh, fourth uh, yeah no fifth Pokemon we're gonna be using the demo Greninja with battle bond this thing is amazing in every way um, not only do we have Ash Greninja right here like after you KO an opponent with this Pokemon uh, your bond will grow and it will transform into Ash Greninja not only does it raise your stats higher than a Mega Evolution, it also ups the damage of um, Water Shirk into 50. And considering it's a multi-hit move, that's going to be very, power very powerful. Uh, I can see this thing going straight to Ubers, and from the looks of the demo, um, from the looks of the demo, this thing had a base 100 stats. Well, not base. Uh, this thing's stats were in the hundreds um, at level 36. And it it's simply amazing to think about what it can be at level 100. Anyway, guys, for my third and final Pokemon, uh, I will be using. It's really hard to um, um, do this, guys. I'm just gonna pause again. Sorry, I keep having. Sorry, I keep having to do this. I I was really uncoordinated with this video. It came out of nowhere. I apologize. We are using Grandad Gudra himself, Trampa. As soon as I saw this thing, I knew I had to have it. Um, this thing is Gudra's Grandad. Not only does his design look cool, I really like how um, they describe it in the Pokemon Sun and Moon Pokedex. How it really loves kids, and if it sees one gets hurt anywhere near it, it flies into a rage to protect that child. Um, this thing. Not only is it a normal and dragon type, it is amazing. This. <laughs> oh god, uh, that was unnecessary. Not only is it normal and dragon type, its design looks uh, awesome. I, I can already see this thing. Like, no one else is gonna use it but me. No one else. None of the big YouTubers out there are gonna use this thing but me. I can already see it. It, look, it looks amazing, and it is amazing. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for my um, Pokemon Sun and Moon team. I hope, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this video was really um, tiring because I just got back from school. Anyway, guys, I'm, anyways, guys, see you later, and have a good time.